Good morning, everyone. Nassau County Executive Laura Curran. I am very happy to be joined by our amazing public safety team here at Nassau County. So leading the orchestra is Deputy County Executive for Public Safety, Tatum Fox. We have our Commissioner of Police, Patrick Ryder, and his leadership team, our police chiefs. We have Sheriff James Surrenda, Chief Fire Marshal Michael Utaro, OEM Commissioner, Office of Emergency Management Commissioner Stephen Morelli. We have with us uh, Anthony Johnson and Laura Turner, leadership at the Department of Probation. And we have two of our county legislators with us, and I'm grateful for the legislature for their support of our public safety team. We have with us legislator Arnie Drucker and legislator Ellen Birnbaum. Have I left anybody out? Okay, wonderful. So whether you're a mayor, a county executive, governor, president, whatever it is, keeping residents safe and healthy is our number one job. Public safety is the core of our mission as a local government. Naturally, I am especially proud that Nassau County has just been named by US News and World Report as the safest community in 2021, safest community in America for 2021 for the second year in a row. This does not happen by accident. It happens because of the team that you see behind me here today and the amazing men and women in our public safety world that they represent and that they lead. US News and World Report looked at public safety through a comprehensive lens. They assessed 3,000 3, municipalities across the country for a variety of factors, including violent crime rate, vehicle crash fatality rate, the share of public safety professionals within a population, and per capita spending on health and emergency services, including local fire and police protection. And no one in the country scored higher than us in Nassau County. Over the past year so far, since we got that first designation, major crime is down 10.5%. So we are not letting our foot off the gas. We are not resting on our laurels. While crime has spiked in other parts of the country, and we've all seen those disturbing images on our TV screens, Nassau County is safer than ever. This is thanks to the men and the women who get it done for us, all of our first responders. It's so important to credit the Nassau County Police Department, District Attorney, Fire Service, that's Fire Marshal and our Volunteer Fire Service, Sheriff's Office, Probation, EMTs, 911 operators, Firecom, and other first responders for the outstanding job that they've done and continue to do for our residents. Nassau's success in holding crime down shows that intelligence-led, community-based policing works. It's all about building that trust at the community level. Another important takeaway from Nassau becoming the, I should say, staying the safest community in America for the second year in a row is it's worth highlight highlighting that our approach includes intelligence-led community-based policing, and that's really what makes the difference. Police Commissioner Patrick Ryder has been a pioneer and I think he's known all over the country for this, a pioneer of intelligence-led or hotspot policing in which law enforcement gathers existing data about arrests, criminal records, domestic in incidents, drug overdoses, tra traffic stops, gang activity, takes all of that data and then runs analytics against that data to better identify patterns and accordingly allocate police resources. It's very intelligent and it's very targeted. But as I said before, Nassau County will not be resting on our laurels. That is why I have proposed 70 new positions, additional positions in this year's budget, uh, actually in next year's budget for law enforcement, which would expand the number of sworn officers in the county for the first time since 2009. This includes two new police classes, two new sheriffs, uh, uh, corrections officers classes, new hires at our fire, Communications Operations Center and at the Fire Marshal's Office. This is good for public safety. I'm talking specifically about the Fire Marshal's Office, but it's also good for economic development because when a new business opens, they need that blessing from the Fire Marshal. We want to make sure that we are as responsive as we possibly can. So I want to assure residents that we will continue to build on our progress. 
We have a brand new training and intelligence center, that's a fancy word for an academy, opening soon uh, next month. And we also have new initiatives in place that build further trust between police and community. Under Patrick Ryder's leadership, we at the, the police department has added, uh, we've actually got a lot of trucks going by today. <laughs> I'll let this guy go. Sound was not part of the initiative. Right. We've got to work on sound next. You know what it means? When trucks are going, it means commerce is moving, people are feel safe, they're happy to do business in Nassau County. Public safety is also good for economic development. We have tripled the number of community affairs officers. We've quadrupled the pop cops. Those are those problem-oriented police at each police precinct to make sure that we are in with the community, at the civic associations, dealing with those small problems before they become big problems. Um, I've also opened over the past four years. We've reopened two of the police precincts that my predecessor had closed. Again, really proving that commitment to community-led policing. So I believe that the better we build the trust, the more intelligent and strategic we get, the more safety, the more safe we will be. It doesn't happen by accident, it, it happens because of partnership and it happens because of leadership. And with that, I would like to introduce Police Commissioner Patrick Ryder. Thank you, boss. So just a couple of numbers that I want to bring up because last press conference about public safety got a little skewed. Shooting incidents involve an injury. In a five-year average, we average about eight in the county of Nassau. This year, four. We've cut it in by 50%. Shooting victims when persons are hit. The average number is eight. This year is eight. So we're staying with that average number. Individuals killed by gunfire was two. We had, this year, we have one. And if you look at some of the major crimes, our homicides are down this year now. I'm talking about 2021. Our homicides are down 45%. When everybody else in the country is skyrocketing, we're bringing it down. Our shootings are down. Our homicides are down. Our robberies, our street robberies are down 11%. Our commercial robberies are down 2.5%. Residential burglaries are down 7%. We used to average 200 burglaries a month in this county. We have less than 184 burglaries in the county of Nassau today, year to date. So we're killing it as far as that goes. Uh, commercial burglaries are down 28%. Stolen cars are down 16%. I can get that number better if people lock their cars at night. Please, lock your vehicle. And lastly, our grand larcenies are down 4%. That means all to total major crime this year, after being two years in a row of the safest county in America, this year we're down 7.39% as of this morning. That means we're still driving it in the right direction. But all of it is based on community relations. It's built on us working with the community to solve the problems, focus deterrence. All of the police reforms we were asked to initiate are up and running. So we're going to make sure that we continue to work with our communities. We continue to drive the numbers in the right direction. And again, we'll see you this time next year when we're voted the third year in a row of the safest county. Thank you. Thank you very much, Commissioner. You know, I always say it doesn't happen by accident. It, it also happens, you know, because of the leadership team we have here at the county, but also our volunteer fire service, our village police departments, our two city police departments, and because of our residents. Our residents, when we have a very diverse and growingly diverse community here in Nassau County, our residents value public safety. And that is incredibly important. And so I thank our residents as well. And yes, I have to echo what the police commissioner is saying about please lock your doors. Uh, it, I'm surprised how many people don't. This is how cars get stolen, broken into, and this is just an easy thing that everyone can do to keep their communities even safer.